Ideogram has been the king of text-based designs for print-on-demand for some time now. And when it rolled out its 3.0 model recently, it got even better. But OpenAI just rolled out its own new image generator as well, and it is reproducing accurate text, which is something that ChatGPT has not been able to do in the past. But with these two new tools, which one is going to be producing more accurate text and which one will ultimately make better text-based designs. But before we get started, let's just have a scroll through ChatGPT and Ideogram to show you that I actually did these tests. Okay, so here we are in ChatGPT doing the simple prompts to get these images. And here we are in Ideogram doing the exact same thing. Okay, so here we are with this prompt. Don't worry, I'm not gonna read this whole prompt, but basically we are asking for a super basic typographical design. We have a line at the top and a line at the bottom, and we dropped a huge list of 90 plus Gen Z words and sayings. And I wanted to see if we could overwhelm each of these models. So let's see what happened when we prompted them this way. Okay, so here we are. The one on the left is the ideogram output and the one on the right is the chat GPT output. So let's look at the ideogram one first. Okay, so I'm not obviously going to count all of these. I'm just going to see what kind of errors I'm seeing in terms of spelling. Okay, I marked it up. You kind of get the idea. There are tons of errors, at least half of these are incorrect. And we did this as a dump of unrelated phrases, which probably makes it a little bit harder for AIs to pick up on what words should go where and what the words actually are. Notably though, it did get the two phrases that we called out as phrases correct. So let's go ahead and see how ChatGPT did in this test. Okay, so we got the top and bottom correct because they're called out phrases. Anyway, it's significantly more accurate when we're putting in this many words as variables. Okay, well, that's significantly better. ChatGPT is getting 90 to 95% of the words written down accurately inside of this design. But we wrote this prompt in order to try to overwhelm the AI models. This isn't a very realistic type of design. It doesn't have phrases that work together except for the top phrase being a phrase and the bottom phrase being a phrase. So let's see what we come up with in prompt number two where we have a lot of text but it is cohesive phrases that make sense together and thus provides more context. Okay so here we are with a prompt that is a run-on sentence but it is a sentence in which all of the words work together it's communicating a thought. So we have potential context clues for the AI to pick up on it. So first let's look and see what ChatGPT brought up for us. Okay, so this was the first output that we got. We can see that that's spelled right. All of the words are correct. We have our first error here. Leave me A is supposed to be leave me alone. We'll see if we can get ChatGPT to fix that for us. And this is correct. And yeah, it's very well done. Tons of accuracy here. Very pleased with this overall output in terms of text accuracy. And just a reminder, this is from ChatGPT. So let's look and see what Ideogram has for us. Okay, so here we are with an output of eight different attempts that Ideogram made. We do four at a time uh, if we look at Ideogram here. So what I'm seeing is a whole lot of mistakes. It's not, I don't even need to look that closely to see that there are tons of mistakes here. I did it in both the general style and the design style to see if that made a difference. It really didn't make a difference in the overall look of the compositions when we dumped that many words for ideogram to try and go through. So let's punch in here to see what we're getting. Got an issues here, multiple issues here. 
the duplication here this is incorrect random elements input here so there's just tons of mistakes and we're going to do a scroll through here just to see that pretty much that is the name of the game for the entire set of designs here and I know that right now we're going head to head with Ideogram 3.0 and ChatGPT, but I went ahead and ran it for the 2A Ideogram model just to see if it did any better. And we'll just do a quick scroll through here. And you can see that the style is a little bit different, but ultimately we're running into the same issues where we have obviously overwhelmed Ideogram with the amount of text we were asking for. So if we're going for a long, intricate design in terms of doing text, ChatGPT is actually a significantly, significantly more accurate option. In terms of percentages with these long text-based designs, it is very clear that ChatGPT can handle that number of variables, that number of words, and ideogram does not do that good of a job, either the 3.0 model or the 2A model. So let's see what happens when we shorten it up and also keep the context clues by making it a real cohesive design, not just a dump of words. Okay, so here we are with our modified prompt. We reduced the number of words drastically and we kept the phrase context clues. So it says, dear person behind me, do not talk to me. You're not so friendly neighborhood introvert. So let's go ahead and see what ChatGPT made of that much shorter prompt. So let's check it for accuracy. Everything looks to be correct here. It even made the decision to take do not talk to me, which is the main part of the phrase that we would want emphasized if it's on a text-based design on a t-shirt and it made it bigger, which is great. So I'm pretty pleased with that as an initial output. I believe that was the first attempt, super basic prompt. We didn't ask for anything special. So let's see what Ideogram has in store for us. Okay, so here we are with the Ideogram outputs for the exact same prompt. I put 3.0 and 2A just because I wanted to see if perhaps the 3.0 model just had some problems and the 2A model was going to do better. So let's go ahead and we'll scroll through. This is going to be the 3O model. Okay, we have some funkiness right here, but that's far less of an issue than the previous very long designs. Let's slide over to the right. Okay, so we scrolled over here and we noticed that neighborhood is spelled incorrectly but it's one error versus tons of errors. And we have these design elements here that create a friendly, childish feeling design. And that's not appropriate for a design that says, do not talk to me. And here in this third one, we've got everything spelled correctly. But again, we've got this decision to add these childish elements to a kind of aggressive sounding design. And here we have our first iteration that we got straight out of Ideogram that is spelled completely correctly. But it added some commas here and it didn't emphasize the do not talk to me, which I think would make this a stronger design. So let's just see if Ideogram 2A did a better job. Okay, the first one spelled correctly. The second one spelled correctly. The third one not spelled correctly. And this fourth one, also appears to be spelled correctly. So it looks like, at least in this one test that I did, that Ideogram 2A did a better job in terms of text accuracy. But overall, I was not really happy with the design choices that Ideogram made for these text-based designs. So let's see if we can sidestep that by asking for a certain style with this prompt. Okay, so here we are in this modified prompt. We're trying to go for a small, bold, small kind of design here. And that at least makes it so that we should be emphasizing the right parts of the phrase. So it'll make the design a little bit better overall, at least theoretically. We will see what Ideogram and ChatGPT decide to do with this prompt. So let's slide over and see what ChatGPT made of this prompt. Okay, so here we are with the ChatGPT output. 
and let's first check to see if everything's spelled correctly. Okay, everything is spelled correctly. Now let's think about what we asked for. We asked for small, large, and small, and ChatGPT nailed it. Now, this is a basic design, but it is emphasizing the right things, so the design works much better. Now, let's roll on over to Ideogram 3.0 and see how that did. Okay, so here we are in Ideogram 3.0's model, and we have all four of the outputs here. We are going to punch in and look at them one by one. Spelled correctly, followed the prompt. Okay, so this did follow the prompt, but we have this being left aligned and it would have been much better if it was center aligned but the output is still decent overall i don't have any complaints about attempt three and i don't have any complaints about attempt four okay and now here we are with the outputs from ideogram 2a it seems to be doing a good job with the spelling it's making different design choices we've got a random quotation mark here this was almost good but it needed to be centered and this is probably the best one okay so i have to admit i came in with the bias that most likely ideogram was going to remain the king of text-based designs and it looks like at least from my experimenting and my personal data that ideogram does not do nearly as good of a job at text as ChatGPT does. ChatGPT seems to be more versatile and able to handle larger amounts of text. That being said, most t-shirt designs will not have tons of text. And in these prompts that had smaller, more manageable and realistic amounts of text for t-shirt designs, Ideogram did just fine in terms of accuracy. Also, something that I found notable is that while ChatGPT had very clean layouts, it did not have creative layouts. So if you want creative typographical designs, you should be going to Ideogram or you'll have to make more complicated prompts that will tell ChatGPT what to do specifically. Okay, so obviously ChatGPT is doing a significantly better job in terms of text accuracy. But that's not the only thing that improved with this new image generator that OpenAI rolled out. If you want to learn more about some of those new features and see me testing it with five different prompts, you can check out this video over here where I did just that. Thank you for watching and I will see you in that video.